Good evening. You're now watching ICS News. I'm Aisin Ju Luo Bei. The head of China's National Bureau of Statistics has promised that the current regulations and restrictions on the property market will not have a major impact on the country's economic growth. Ma Jintang spoke at the Summer Devils Forum, which wrapped up today in China's northern port city of Tianjin. Tuai Jin has more on that and other property price developments. Ma said investment in the property market nationwide increased by 37 percent despite tighter regulations in effect since January. And the Shanghai Statistics Bureau reports the square footage of residential property sold in the city dropped nearly 47 percent from January to August. But the question remains, is the property market cooling off or is it still overheated? The results of a survey at residential vacancy rates in major cities may hold a clue. But even before they're out, some real estate agents have their own ideas. In Shanghai, because 20 percent of the population owns more than one home, the vacancy rate should be more than 10 percent. A lot of newly developed properties, especially those developed after 2005, have higher vacancy rates. More than 90 percent of the people taking a survey on one of China's largest web portals said the number of unoccupied properties in their cities is outrageously high. And nearly 90 percent said speculators who buy a number of homes are directly pushing up property prices. Experts and industry insiders say although the government survey of the vacancy rate will not affect housing prices for now, they hope it can be a basis for future measures that might include imposing a vacancy tax. To Haizin, ISIS News.